Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friends, let me invite you to get a cup of coffee, pick up a Bible, turn with me to Philippians chapter 2. Today we'll look at verse number 13 and have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, hallelujah, what better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God. A friend over in Philippians 2.13, the Bible says here, For it is God which worketh in you both to do his will and to do his good pleasure. Friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Doing God's Will. You know, at times it may seem that God's will is a difficult mystery to grasp and even more impossible to accomplish. Yet the Bible promises that he is constantly at work in you. Uh, The person and work of the Holy Spirit that was written by R.A. Torrey explained it this way. Some are not distantly conscious of his indwelling, but he is there nonetheless. What a solemn and yet what a glorious thought that uh, in me dwells his august person. The Holy Spirit. If we are children of God, we are not so much to pray that the Spirit may come and dwell in us, for He does that already. We are rather to recognize His presence, His gracious and glorious indwelling, and give to Him complete control of the house He already inhabits, and strive to live as not to grieve the Holy One. Friend, God is always able to communicate his will and enable you to accomplish it because God indwells you if you're saved by his marvelous grace. Even when you don't think you hear him, he's in you, transforming you as you read his word and leading you as you pray in submission to him. Friend, we ought to thank God for the Holy Spirit that indwells us and ask Him help us to be aware and obedient to His glorious presence as He guides our lives to do those things that's pleasing unto Him. Friend, we have a hope that is beyond hope because our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for the indwelling Holy Spirit of God. And Lord, as we uh, give you praise for that indwelling Spirit, we pray that you will always uh, lead us and guide us to what you would have for us to do. And may we always follow your will for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray that you'll do just that. Then go out into your world, do your best to make a difference in it. Share Christ with someone. Someone needs to hear a little bit more about him. And your life can be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.